Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. I'm fixing you. Still in the basement. Uh, I think the lighting is okay down here. Still haven't done anything back there. We'll get there. <laughs> I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Uh, first and foremost. Uh, first and foremost, if you saw my posting on social media, because I am on Instagram under my crazy life underscore Lori. We have a Facebook group and I'm over there posting as well. So my car drama continues. Apparently, I found out today, uh, I've been sitting at the car dealership for three hours that when the dealership in West Virginia stuck my engine in my car, they didn't tighten or seal a screw that holds the oil in. So I've been leaking oil for the past couple months and I ran out of oil in my car. So great, so great, I know. So hopefully crisis averted and it's getting fixed or it's fixed. I sat there for three and a half, three hours, three and a half hours while they fixed my car. So, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I'm sorry, what? It's a sign. It's a big one. But it says, let it snow. I thought this was fantastic for winter. Okay, so here's one issue, but being so close. Let me try moving you back a little. It's hard to show big things. But this is a sign, just on their regular sign boards. But it says, let it snow. And I thought this would be fantastic for winter time. So I picked that up. Again, really not a lot of stuff at my store, but I will show you what I got. Um, I got parchment paper because how exciting is that? Um, if you do any type of cooking keto, parchment paper is everything. That and silicone. Uh, keto foods tend to stick to foil and pans, so we needed that. All right, I'm pretty sure I got one of these last year, but just in case. I mean, come on, guys. And it lights up, and it says coffee. Who doesn't need that in their life, right? I need it in my life. So I grabbed that for me. I think I had one from last year, but just to be on the safe side. Um, I grabbed a couple more of these. I'm doing some... Uh, gift baskets, which I have a video that I need to get up for you of me doing them, but I bought some more chocolate for those, as well as these caramel Milky Ways to go into the gift basket. These are fantastic, and I only see them at Dollar Tree at the Christmas time. Um, for another gift, some peppermint, junior mints. These have candy cane in them. And I have a sister-in-law that loves these, so I get them for her to go with her present. So we have that. Um, I don't think I even got a lot of, well, maybe some more stuff. I did find, we're going to look at this up close. So they have these little tea lights out, and it says it goes for 120 hours. I'm assuming maybe they're talking about if you turn it on and just let it go, how long the little battery will last. Um, and maybe I'll do that like Christmas Eve and just turn it on and leave it on. I do enjoy that it comes in its own little package. What? I like that. And it lights up and it's that warm light. Oh, that is pretty. Yeah, maybe I'll need to light these up in my bedroom for Christmas Eve. Um, and they're just, and they had them in stars too. This is just metal. Oh, I love that. I like that. I like that. Um, I picked up a couple of these. I know these have been around many seasons. Again, I can't remember if I kept mine from last year. Sometimes I get rid of them because if I like um, uh, burn candles and if I do a taper, they get wax or something on them. I just throw them away. Um, but these are fabric. You can cut the seam like this one is already opened for me. So you can just open that seam, stuff it, and then sew it back and you have a pillow. That's how people are doing it with these. Or if you wanted a double-sided pillow, you could just hot glue them together and stuff it. But these are fantastic for $1.25, um, and they go with the color scheme. It may end up in my bedroom, actually, this year because I'm doing my tree. I'm doing a tree in my bedroom. I'm kind of excited about that. Of course, I'll show you pictures. 
Um, I found, I had this sign out and I thought it was interesting and it just says home, but this green part comes off. It's a separate wood. I saw one that the green was, oh, like that. It just comes right off. So you could paint this any color you want and then glue that right back on or not. But I think that's great. I would like this in a different color and then glue this. They just pop right off. It's just hot glue. Um, yeah, just a little bit of glue on there. But I thought that would be fun because I would like to paint this a different color. Like I said, uh, my walls are this color. And so I think it'll blend. But if I do this like a dark color and then put this green back on, that that would be fun. So that was my plan the whole time, right? I'm taking trash out. Taking stuff out of bags. Oh, I got another one of these for my fingernails and my fingers for winter, but this is coconut oil. Um, it does have SPF in it, but it says no parabens, no fa uh, folates, no mineral oil, no gluten, no dyes. So if you have a gluten intolerance, you can use this stuff. Or if you're celiac, because there's no gluten in here. Maybe I'll send it up to a friend of mine. Because I did not know, I didn't know that lip balms could have gluten in it. I guess it, I should have known that. I don't know. We'll find out. But I got that. I thought it would be fun. Oh, sorry, allergies. Oh, I grabbed two packs of these. Now, these are in the crafting section, but they're little zip bags. And I got them to put dog treats in for uh, Luna's advent calendar. Um... Cause, and I needed 25, so I just grabbed two packs. They're great, though. I also use these when I travel if I need to bring, like, medicine for just a day or two and I want less space taken up in my bag. I use these, and you just I put a day's worth and, or I mark on it what's in it. So these are good for that. They're nice small zip bags, and they're good for crafting as well. So we grabbed those because... I'm trying to get stuff out of this basket. I went to one store and said, just put it in the basket and I'll show you the basket and then I can put everything back. Um, I grabbed one of these. This is definitely not new this year and it's not super sturdy, but these make really good gift baskets, especially if you're gonna fill them up with a lot of stuff and tie it up with plastic anyway. These are not terrible. Um, and But just be in mind that they are, they're pretty, flexible. These are also great for storage of toys and little things. Uh, Christmas morning, if you have littles, you could totally get a couple of these, put their name on it or put it next to them and they can put all their stocking and little toys in here for easy cleanup. And that way you won't, sorry, I'm banging the table. You won't lose all of the, um, little pieces. You know, that happens. We used to do gift bags, but that would be perfect. For Christmas morning, I think. Anywho, who am I? I don't know. I'm a little ra ra uh, frazzled today. I've been um, sitting, like I said, for three and a half hours. And so I missed work and that just aggravates me. Okay, we don't have much, but this hat I thought was fantastic. It's called Layer 8, uh, you, it is S, well, UPF 40. So it is a sun hat for children. And the, the brand, like I said, is Layer 8, and it was, manufacturer price is $20. And it's a cute little bucket hat in like a mint color. I don't feel like it fits my head, but I have a larger head. But if you have a little person in your life or somebody with a tiny head, like I'm going to give it to my cousin because she has a little head. And this will keep the sun off her face. We're trying to prevent cancer. Oh, and it has a little logo here. Uh, layer 8. I've never heard of it, but I also don't have children. So there's that. And they had a whole box of these just in that minty blue color. They didn't have any darker or any other sizes. I grabbed some of this Pure Kick to try. It is a citrus hydrate, zero sugar, manufactured by the Jet Cert Company in Illinois. 
and it is like a hydration drink. So like a Gatorade or something has electrolytes in it. And sometimes I drink too much coffee and not enough water. So this will help me out. So I grabbed one to try. I also got a very cherry to take to work. So I'll probably take both of these and put them in my drawer at my office. So when I have drinks there, it just helps me drink more water. I've said this a hundred times. Um, I picked up this sticker because I think it's fun. I love rainbows and it's like shiny. It's like plasticky leather. I think pleather. But I thought that was fantastic. That would be fun on like a notebook or a journal or something. And this is a great stocking stuffer too if you have young ones. Speaking of stocking stuffers, I got this and it says, I'm not responsible for anything I say before coffee. I got two, one for me and one for Sarah. I figure she'll use that on her desk at work. And on the inside it says, I'm not responsible for anything I say before coffee. And there's two of them. Although it might be good in a little gift basket that I'm putting together for my friend who is also gluten free. So we'll see. But definitely I'm giving one to Sarah. And then to go in her presents also I got her the pink pen. I got myself the blue. And these are just zebra one millimeter medium point ballpoint pens. But she loves this color pink. And I also got her a notebook in that color pink. So I needed to get her a pen to match. I'm going to be wrapping gifts soon. If anybody wants to see a gift wrapping with me video, let me know. My Dollar Tree, again, has not had a lot of products. So I'm kind of low on stuff still. Um, I grabbed this for my... One of my um, associates' son. I remember I had a little great niece that loved these. This is magnetic. So they had one with stickers, and this one was magnets, and it's Spider Man. And these, and then it had a seam, but these are magnets that'll stick to the tin or to the inside. I think I don't want to open it because it's not for me, but I believe you the scene is on the inside of the tin. And then they have another one that's just stickers, but I thought he would appreciate this one with the magnets. It says over 15 magnets, magnetic activity, one seam and two magnet sheets. So I thought that was fun. Just to give her, to, it's not a gift or anything, just to hand off to her because I usually get her kids stuff. When I come across it, since I don't have any children to buy for, and I don't have any littles at this point. And that is pretty much it, except for I grabbed a couple blind bags to open with us. So I thought, well, there's not a lot of stuff. This is interesting. We'll look and see. This is surprise nail art. And it is two sets of press-on nails, two sheets of double-sided adhesive tape, one nail decal sticker sheet, and instructions. But you don't know which nails you're getting. How fun would that be for somebody in your life that likes to do um, fake nails? And I'm assuming they're children's size. Yeah, they are. So you get a pink and a purple in here. And I mean, honestly, uh, no, they won't fit my nails. Some of them might, but you get the fake nails and you get, these are your adhesives to so put them on. But what I'm most excited about is the sticker sheet, which I thought you're supposed to get two sticker sheets, maybe just one. Yeah, so you were supposed to get two sets of these, but I only got one of the sticker of the adhesive, but I think this is still fun. But look at these fun little rainbow nail stickers. So even if you do your own nails, I used to do this all the time. You put the sticker on and you put a layer of clear over it and it protects it and it stays. And these are the perfect size. And these are all love is love, I think. Yeah, these are all um, rainbow themed. How fun is that? If you have a little person in your life and they don't know which one they're going to get, it's just a blind bag and you could do a whole entire stocking literally of just blind bags. Now, I grabbed two of these. I went to one Dollar Tree and somebody had literally opened every single one and stole the little toy out of them and then put all these packages back in the box, which I thought was just weird. But this is Disney Dorables. There are 62 to collect behind every door a bigger surprise is in store. 
and I don't know what they are, but, and we're not gonna try to collect all 62, but we're gonna try to collect two, because that's what I bought. So you get the sheet that tells you who and what everybody is, and then you get a little person. Um, since I don't have children, we talked about that, right? I have no idea who this is, but I'm gonna find them on my sheet. And, it, oh, this is from Frozen, and this is Kristoff. Oh, fun. I love Frozen. I hope I get Olaf. So that's Kristoff from Frozen. I love Frozen. If I got some of those, I'd be excited. And it's like a little mini Funko Pop with the big head. It's not fun. It's not a Funko Pop, but I love it. So they're all different. They can't, You can get Mickey and Minnie, Little Mermaid, Tangled, Lion King, Frozen. Cinderella, Finding Nemo, Aladdin, Toy Story, Lilo and Stitch, or Beauty and the Beast. Ooh, if I got Belle, how exciting would that be? So let's see who we get. I'm not looking. Who'd I get? I don't know who that is. Not Belle. Um... Not Jasmine. Oh, Anna. Anna. I got Anna and Kristoff. How exciting. Now I do have to go back. No, I don't. I don't. This is how they get you. This is how they get you. I do not need to go back, but I do have Anna and Kristoff. And if I got Elsa and Olaf, oh, Sven. I need Sven. Look at them. All right, guys, that is everything that I got at the Dollar Tree. So I hope you enjoyed. And I will talk with y'all later. And come find us on social media. We're having fun.